had no idea what to make a video on. But then Treyarch came clutch and put out a new video for their new zombies map for season whatever of Cold War Zombies. They've had a lot of good stuff so far with Cold War Zombies. Die Machine and Firebase Z are really amazing showing how so much can be done with their in-game engine. How it can be used and how power scaling works making it so it's not just pack a punching once and sitting in the corner or running around waiting to die. There are tears to stuff making it more engaging as time goes on. I personally wasn't a big fan of Outbreak. I feel like it was kind of weird to have a map that was more open world be counted as an official zombies map that you could take off of the season's pass making it so there's one less actual round base map detracting from stuff like Firebase and Die Machine. Like sure it introduced some new stuff, there's some new bosses, there was new gameplay ideas that showed more about how the Dark Aether was actually just the old timeline brought into one place, which is great. But also, I want to play a round base map because that's what gets me going more than anything. And that's exactly what they showed in their new gameplay trailer. The new map, Mauer de Toten, takes place in Berlin, which is thankfully not another remake zombies map. We've seen so many remakes that it's kinda gotten boring, and I just want to do something new. If this was a remake of Kino, I would kinda be sleeping, because we've already had one in this game with Die Machine, and that worked perfectly, because the bunker that was the main map for Nocturne Toten wasn't really part of the map. It wasn't something you were in for most of the time. It was just kind of a piece of the overall set piece of the underground and the up top. But there are some things that they show that look very similar to old maps. I like that it's moody and in the dark, like unlike the other zombies maps, so it's a little more scary, a little bit more of a horror element. I like the variations on the wonder weapon. I always love those, starting from Origins with the elemental staves. I think it's really great that you can have so much difference and so much ability in the sandbox to do anything you want. The storyline also seems to be expanding with you working with the bad guys to find out what's happening in Berlin, and it might seem like Richthofen is actually coming back in some way, shape, or form. Maybe actually killing Maxis which is going to be kind of wacky to see how everything turns out. There's still a lot of unknown and mystery in the story, just like anything with Call of Duty Zombies, not everything is actually shown yet. Again, going through a new storyline and doing all these new Easter eggs that are actually really good for beginner players are really fun for me since I really didn't do many of them since Black Ops 3 with a group of my old homies. And it is really fun going through them and finding everything out and being able to use wonder weapons and getting a guide to how to unlock Pack-a-Punch. With the way they tie in the campaign into the story of zombies, it feels a lot more interconnected, and the way that they use Weaver from Black Ops 1 is also quite amazing. I think that Maurer Toten has a large chance of being one of the best zombies maps on Call of Duty Cold War, but that's not saying that it won't be amazing by itself and with other maps like Origins or Mob of the Dead. I think that they are going for a very good way to go through it with a lot of mystery, a lot of intriguing things that might be fun to play. My only thing is that I want to play zombies to have fun with it. Stuff like Orda in Firebase Z is a little, well, stressful. And I know it's a zombies game, I know it's a horror game, but when you reach round 35, on Firebase Z, it's not just about surviving and running in a circle anymore, which Firebase Z is really fun and good for. It's more trying to fight this big giant thing that you can't really fight, and it's really hard to get power back on. It becomes a whole process every 15 rounds, and you're just trying to survive, and you gotta get a certain weapon. It's very, very situational what you have to do and it kind of breaks up gameplay. Like the other holdout waves where you're just holding out against zombies makes sense, but when Orda shows up, it's cool the first time around, and then it just becomes annoying. The map's gonna come out about a week from now, and I'm wondering what you guys think. What do you think of the new map? What do you think of COD zombies in general? And what do you think of Cold War zombies? 
make sure to leave a comment about your opinions down below and also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any videos from me. Till next Friday, fellas.